Have you ever wondered about the existence of a civilization that might have been technologically advanced beyond its time, only to mysteriously disappear without a trace? Welcome to the Enigma of Atlantis. Picture a civilization, prosperous and advanced, its citizens living in harmony, its architecture grand, and its technology far surpassing its contemporaries. This city, however, isn't a part of our modern world, nor is it a futuristic utopia from a science fiction novel. Its existence, if any, belongs to a time long past, thousands of years ago. This is Atlantis, the legendary lost city that has intrigued many for centuries. The first known reference to Atlantis comes from the works of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. In his dialogues Timaeus and Critias, Plato paints a vivid picture of a city beyond compare, located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, what we now call the Strait of Gibraltar. According to Plato, Atlantis was a naval power that conquered many parts of Western Europe and Africa. Around 9,000 years before Plato's time, Atlantis and its people vanished in a cataclysmic event, swallowed by the sea in a single day and night of misfortune. But what if Plato's account was more than mere allegory? What if Atlantis was real? The idea is tantalizing, sparking the imagination of historians, archaeologists, and anyone who has ever dared to dream of lost civilizations. The mystery of Atlantis, its location, its people, and its ultimate fate has fueled countless theories and explorations, each attempting to prove or disprove its existence. Yet despite the allure and the ongoing search, Atlantis remains elusive. Was it a victim of natural disaster, its memory preserved only through the writings of a philosopher? Or was it perhaps a creation of Plato's mind, a metaphorical city meant to illustrate his philosophical ideas? The truth remains hidden, buried beneath layers of time and speculation. So, with only Plato's dialogues as our guide, we plunge into the depths of the Atlantic, in search of this lost city. Theories about Atlantis are as vast and deep as the ocean it supposedly sank into. The tale of this lost city has sparked innumerable theories, some more plausible than others, yet all equally fascinating in their own right. One of the most popular theories proposes Atlantis as a technologically advanced civilization, far ahead of its time. Proponents of this theory speculate that the Atlanteans with their superior technology were able to build a city of such grandeur that it remained unmatched by any other civilization of the era. However, this advanced society is believed to have fallen victim to a catastrophic natural disaster, possibly a massive earthquake or tsunami, causing the entire city to sink into the ocean depths, lost forever. But not all theories are so literal. Some scholars suggest that Atlantis was not a physical city but rather an allegory penned by the ancient philosopher Plato. They argue that the tale was a work of fiction, used by Plato to convey philosophical ideas about the ideal society and the consequences of hubris. Still others propose that Atlantis was a utopian idea, a dream of a perfect society that never truly existed. This theory suggests that the story of Atlantis is a collective memory of a time when humanity lived in harmony with nature, a golden age that we have long since lost. And then, there are those who believe that Atlantis was not of this earth at all. According to this speculative theory, Atlantis was an extraterrestrial colony, established by advanced beings from another planet. They propose that evidence of advanced technology and knowledge in ancient cultures is a remnant of this alien influence. From a doomed civilization to an extraterrestrial colony, the theories about Atlantis are as fascinating as they are diverse. Each one offers a different lens through which to view this enduring mystery, a testament to our enduring fascination with the unknown. Atlantis might be lost to history but it certainly found its place in popular culture. This fabled city, shrouded in mystery and intrigue has permeated nearly every form of media, captivating audiences and sparking imaginations worldwide. In the realm of literature, Atlantis has played a pivotal role in numerous works. Jules Verne's novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, is one such example. This classic adventure tale, published in the late 19th century, features Captain Nemo and his submarine, the Nautilus, as they explore the underwater world, including the sunken city of Atlantis. Verne's vivid depiction of the lost civilization has been etched into the minds of readers for generations. Moving to the silver screen, the animated movie Atlantis The Lost Empire has also made a significant impact. This Disney film, released in the early 2000s, tells the story of a young adventurer who leads an expedition to find the sunken city. The film's unique blend of fantasy, action and historical myth has made it a beloved classic among animation enthusiasts. 
But the influence of the Atlantis myth doesn't stop at books and movies. The world of video gaming has also embraced the allure of the Lost City. The Assassin's Creed series, known for its historical fiction and action-adventure gameplay, has incorporated Atlantis into its narrative. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, players can explore a version of Atlantis, unraveling the city's secrets while navigating the game's intricate storyline. Through these examples it's evident that the enigma of Atlantis has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Its influence transcends mediums, reaching audiences of all ages and backgrounds. Whether it's a book on a dusty shelf, a film on a silver screen, or a video game in a digital realm, the story of Atlantis continues to captivate us. Despite its ambiguous existence, Atlantis continues to inspire and captivate us through stories and narratives. Its mythical presence in our collective imagination shows no signs of sinking into oblivion anytime soon. The allure of Atlantis has led many to embark on quests to uncover its mysteries. Over the centuries, countless expeditions have set sail, each with the hope of revealing the truth behind the enigmatic city. One of the earliest and most renowned of these expeditions took place in the late 19th century. An American antiquarian and politician, Ignatius L. Donnelly, became infatuated with the idea of Atlantis. He authored a book, Atlantis the Antediluvian World, which ignited a wave of interest and led to numerous exploratory journeys. These quests however turned up empty-handed. In the mid-20th century an unconventional theory emerged, proposing that Atlantis was not submerged in the Atlantic Ocean but rather in the Mediterranean. This theory suggested that the island of Santorini, devastated by a massive volcanic eruption around 3,600 years ago, was the true Atlantis. While the theory was widely debated it sparked a series of archaeological expeditions to the island, despite uncovering impressive ancient civilizations, none could definitively be identified as the lost city of Atlantis. Fast forward to the 21st century, and the search for Atlantis has taken a technological turn. Expeditions have utilized sophisticated sonar mapping and satellite imagery in their quests. A notable example is the Bahamian expedition led by explorer Robert Sarmast, who claimed to have found underwater structures resembling descriptions of Atlantis off the coast of Cyprus. However, his claims remain unproven and widely disputed. In recent years explorers have ventured into the depths of the Atlantic, the Mediterranean and even the Caribbean Sea, each time fueled by a mixture of historical clues, scientific speculation, and a dash of hope. Yet despite the advanced technology and relentless pursuit, Atlantis remains elusive, so the expeditions continue, each new journey inspired by the ones before it. The allure of uncovering a civilization thought lost to time is too powerful to resist. These expeditions, though often unsuccessful, continue to fuel the fascination and hope of finding Atlantis. Despite numerous theories and expeditions, the mystery of Atlantis remains unsolved. The enigma of this lost city, shrouded in the mists of time, continues to captivate our collective curiosity. A myriad of questions still swirl around Atlantis, each one as intriguing as the city itself. We've traversed the labyrinth of theories and speculations, each one offering a unique perspective. Some propose Atlantis was a technologically advanced civilization far ahead of its time while others suggest it was a utopian society, a beacon of harmony and peace. Yet despite these conjectures, concrete evidence remains elusive. The image of Atlantis has been etched into popular culture, from books to movies shaping our perception of this lost city. It's portrayed as a place of unparalleled beauty and grandeur, a symbol of mankind's innate desire for perfection. Yet, it's also depicted as a cautionary tale, a grim reminder of the consequences of hubris and unchecked ambition. Countless expeditions have been launched in search of Atlantis, with explorers combing every corner of the globe. From the depths of the Atlantic Ocean to the sun-drenched coasts of the Mediterranean, the quest for Atlantis has proven to be an endeavor as vast as the ocean itself. Yet despite these exhaustive searches, the city remains hidden, its secrets locked away. The debate among historians and archaeologists rages on. The existence and location of Atlantis are subjects of intense scrutiny and discussion. Was Atlantis a real place wiped off the map by a cataclysmic event? Or is it purely a product of Plato's philosophical musings, an allegory rather than a historical fact? The enigma of Atlantis continues to challenge our understanding of history, pushing us to question, to explore, to seek. It's a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown, a symbol of our unyielding quest for knowledge. Atlantis, a city lost or a myth created, its enigma continues to baffle us. 
As we delve deeper into the ocean of knowledge, perhaps one day we might stumble upon the truth of Atlantis.